assume that the bank could be cut, but uh, one of the greatest uh, companies in America. Uh, but you know what? I, when I look at it, there is $230 billion in market cap that's been lost here. So it's entirely possible that this one short term could, uh, could continue to rally. Long term, I come back to the idea that the oil stocks are just a trade, not investable, simply under an administration that does not favor drilling everywhere. It's short term with less drilling. President Biden is going to discourage drilling. These can go higher longer term. Order submitted. Once themselves borrow, who are driven by ESG, they might not want to show that they own Exxon Mobil. There's a lot to unpack on Boeing this morning. Uh, Bear, just to make it a, a top pick, as they're very much on the return of air travel. You mentioned the common call. Uh, they're essentially saying the return of, of air travel uh, is probably the second half story due to the hiccups that we're seeing now with vaccine distribution. And then, of course, the crash uh, out of Jakarta, which I'm sure we'll check in a little bit more on later on this morning. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, let's find a black box and see what we say. But I think that those that are positive are why the stock ran up Order fell. Under it, uh, my child goes to us and he just says, Look, if everyone gets vaccinated, then we can move to a There's this obviously a claim that we're in early. So it depends on the end of the day. It's extraordinary. But I think there's just some anecdotes that uh, we got to find out what's in the black box, the crash. Uh, so I'll say, but uh, more, more from the point of view of the stock, not other people. We just see the money get inflated or the loss. But what the stock fall is, is the, is the vaccine itself. When I listen to Dr. Kyle, he said, Boy, it is so good. I said to myself, Wow, if they could figure this thing out, uh, it would be a first half story. But it doesn't sound like they are. The thing obviously is the distribution of vaccine distribution is going on. BioNTech did uh, raise their 2021 capacity. Uh, it's 2 billion doses, uh, which is a lot. You mentioned the uh, hopes for J&J, although it doesn't sound like you think that's going to be a January story, which would be a healthy story. You know, and I was hoping it would be when they announced their quarter. Uh, I do think you know, they think the vaccine is not the issue. As Dr. Gottlieb said, one day we're going to so there'll be a vaccine or what. Uh, it is this uneven distribution system that's the right word. So they got the vaccine a lot by throwing the vials out because there's no so many bad. I mean, this is, I think there's a lot of people who are saying this is not the way to do it. Uh, and it may be President uh, like Biden will have a better way. But right now, there's far more vaccine than there is uh, in this current moment. People are lining up to get it because we're pretty much discouraged. No, I live in New Jersey. I don't know anyone else who's registered. I also don't know anyone who's got it. So uh, it does seem to be a real free for all. With Florida being the greatest East Coast, you get the West Coast, which is chaos. By the way, no one seems to be getting it. That's kind of a microcosm that's going on in this country. Yeah, we're going to talk to the director of West Virginia later on this morning, which is fine. But the first thing is by one of the global pharmacies, as I said earlier this morning, the more about the other day's fast that comes in. Thank you. Almost one 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 three. Um, today it's, it's Mike Wilson at Morgan Stanley saying rates of the wild card. We got Costa at Goldman Sachs. Oh, we got some good earnings for the year, Jim, but warning about higher corporate tax. And showing the numbers for the following year. The year end remains 4,300. But again, the focus on rates is not ending. Oh, and I do think why the bank stocks are a buy when you just can't get it. The one thing is certainly well, there's not a lot of money coming out of gold market. There's a lot of money coming in. It's kind of shifted around different places. Obviously, the young person's money is going to what, what is uh, considered to be uh, the most cutting edge. I think that's a fair way to put it. But uh, I'm not as concerned about the banks, either gentlemen, because I think that uh, the stability of the market would actually be a great positive. Uh, I think that the rank for uh, those people now, I think that Wednesday may have been the pinnacle of the rank for. And if there's just a little bit of money, I can take higher taxes. I think that the notion of, of a kind of a police force within a police force is going to be the new theme in terms of that's going to happen Wednesday. Got to see what the new Attorney General, uh, Mark Garland, if by Biden does. I think that uh, I think both sides of whatever happened in Washington want to be able to express their will. Quickly, I think that if we get just just the end of the endless challenge, whether you like President Trump or hate President Trump. 
I got into these trades, uh, pre-market guys, um, just so you know how I got into the entries, just being in pre-market, the movement, um, it just, I didn't think that an NDM for one was going to, was going to hold under nine, I thought it was going to hold nine dollars, and OPTT I had since Friday, um, it didn't give me the move I wanted on Friday, so I just held over the weekend, OPTT really isn't a, doesn't um, doesn't worry me too much, and it's pretty cheap, so I know I can always buy a lot more uh, shares if need be. But that's how I got into these positions that you're looking at right now. WWR I've had for a couple days. It's actually a, a wash sell, which is why I'm down a little bit on that one. I got into it uh, within the 31 day wash sell rule, so uh, that's why it looks like that. And then ARBKF took a dip with Bitcoin. So um, I just bought more shares and averaged down a little bit. My uh, connection was a little slow, so it's not updated the position size. So I'm going to reconnect it real quick. And you'll see the new position right there at 157, 2100 shares. So I should have bought more, but here's what it is. I'll stay under the 200 for the most part. really cheap so I'm not worried about it <laughs> probably get out of in NDM under ten dollars and OPTT I'll get out about Three fifty, three thirty, three fifty. That this uh, resistance up there. Uh, 
have a daily goal of a thousand, so if I hit the thousand dollar mark, I, I close out of some trades just to keep that, um, unless they just look like they're amazing, I'm going to keep running. I'm going to take this uh, 980, 990, push, get out, wait for the pullback to the 20, get back in, see if I can do it again. Order submitted. Order I'm going to get, like I said, guys, I'm going to get out and I'm going to get back in down here near 930 if I can. Take those profits every time. Take those profits every time. Can't be scared to take profits. I did that because it went through the 200 here, through its pivot, through its first resistance and into its second. It's a lot of resistance. Um, if it would have done a pullback to the 20, I would have waited until $10. But because it didn't do any pullbacks, I, um, I don't really consider this anything. This is nothing really came back and touched anything. So this near trend right here, I have it in there. Um, but I'm waiting for a pullback near something around like the 13 or the 20. But yeah, that was a good $700 plus dollar gain. Real quick, right out the gate within an hour, within 30 minutes of trading, so. With the daily goal of a thousand, I'm almost there. Maybe it gives me the pullback right here. It's probably just a little flag waiting for this near trend to come back up to it. Order submitted. Order fills. Up to 500 right there. I think it goes to $10 here, guys. That's why. <laughs> When it comes down here to the 20th, it does give me that pullback, but I want it, and I'll just buy it at 500. 